Hi, I'm Brett Ullman. Welcome to Navigating Everything, the channel where I try and help you navigate tough topics like parenting, mental health, how to be a better man, like father, husband, boyfriend, and many other topics. Today is an introductory video to many more videos I'm gonna be posting on the topic of men, looking at how we as men can be better, well, better men. My most searched term on my website and on my YouTube channel are these. How to be a better husband. How to be a good husband. How to be a better father and husband. How to be a good father. This is the never-ending kind of search tags of things people are looking for. So I created a talk called Men Navigating Everything. I'll show you the graphic up top here. For this talk, I wanted to have some sort of structure. I'm very pragmatic and I want to process of looking at how to be better men. So what I did is I read about 40 books on men, being a better husband, being a better father, etc. And I came up with a graphic. I'm going to call it a men's flywheel. Let me show you the graphic that I made. I think these are the eight categories you need to look at as you move forward in your journey of being a better man. Now, these eight categories are physical health, mental health, spiritual health, marriage, which is men as husbands, parenting, which is men as fathers, finances, which would also include work, sexuality, which right now we're, we're going to look on the topic of pornography, and loneliness. I'm going to do many more videos looking more deeply into each of these areas. For today's video, I thought that I would give you one takeaway for each area, a book, a podcast, or something for you to think about. Category one, physical health. I want you to look at being better in your physical health. I think it's a really great place to begin, and I would start with Dr. Greg, Greg Wells' book, The Ripple Effect. Look at the byline, sleep better, eat better, move better, think better. One of my favorite books this year. For category two in mental health, uh, this is actually my struggle. I had a breakdown back in 2012 and have struggled with both pa panic, anxiety, and depression for many years. I'm gonna encourage you to watch my video called The Walking Wounded, I'll tag it above. This is actually a full presentation I do on mental health. Number three, spiritual health. Now, I acknowledge not everyone who'll be watching this video comes from the same Christian worldview as I do. That's okay. But for those of you that do, I would encourage you to watch this video above where I give you my top, I think it's 10 or 12 books on spiritual disciplines, spiritual practices. Choose one and begin to look at how you can grow your spiritual health. Number four is marriage, how to be a better husband. Now, if I had to give you one thing to start here, I'm going to encourage you to read the book Fair Play by Eve Rodsky. It looks at the idea of domestic rebalance in our homes. Now, before you say everything's balanced in my house, the statistics say it's very rare that this is the case. So if you're looking at being a better husband, maybe read this book and see if anything can apply to you in your life. I actually gonna challenge you to go one step farther and after reading that book, uh, grab what's called the Fair Play deck of cards. It's actually a deck of actual, like they're playing cards. Each of these has things on it. This one says home, this one says caregiving. The idea is this, that you can look at the different things that are happening in your house. And I mean, there is a stack of cards here and look at how you can make sure that there's kind of a balance in your life. Probably my favorite two things this year are the book and the set of cards. Number five is parenting. How do we be a better father? Now, if I had to give you one book here, I'm actually gonna suggest you get my own. I just released in July this 226,000 word, 16 chapter, 660 citation handbook for parents called Parenting Navigating Everything. Now for this conversation right now, it's the first six chapters that I really want you to concentrate on. Now, if you really cannot read, don't like reading, I do have this in a six uh, video series kind of online course and I'll tag that below. Now the thought here is that you want to have a better relationship with your kids. So we need to look at things like parenting styles. Which ones should we do more? Which ones should we do less? How do you spend quality time with your kids? What does that look like? What does rich communication look like? What does discipline look like? It's from all of those things I think we gain a better relationship with our children. Number six is finances. Now this is actually finances and work. I'm going to encourage you here to read a book called The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. And I'll put the link in the description. Really great stuff here. And he also has an amazing podcast, which I listen to as well. 
Number seven is sexuality. And I really want you to here to deal with any sexual addictions you might have, most likely looking at pornography. Some recent statistics actually say that one in three college age men today cannot sustain an erection due to porn use. This is a big deal for everyone. I have a talk I did called The Porn Project. I'll tag it above. This is a full presentation looking at how we deal with pornography. And the last section today is just loneliness. This is the last chapter of my book, chapter 16. It was interesting to me how many times I was researching a topic and loneliness popped up. With, with parents of young children, people in struggling marriages, people struggling with addictions. Now I have a YouTube video with my top seven books on loneliness. I'll tag that above. Watch this. In the description, I link to all the Amazon links and you can see, you can click on each and find more about each of those books. Pick up one and begin to look at how you can improve loneliness in your own life. So I think this is a great way to start. You have eight categories and something to work on for each category. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can see more upcoming videos that will help us on our journey to be better men. As a side note, change in any area is not easy. I did another video on my favorite books on change theory and habits. I'll tag it above. I might suggest picking up the one by James Clear called Atomic Habits. It will give you some structure to the changes you're looking at making in your life. If you have anything you think we should be talking about when we talk about being better men, please add it in the comments. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.